From building houses to playing AFL at the age of 26, it's not your typical AFL story, but it's a good one. Jim Cotter for his first goal in the big time. As the Blues aim to go one better this season, this man is also dreaming big. He joins us next. Hello and welcome to Knockoffs. Rich Show here, and we are brought to you by Pepper Jack Wines. And we have a fantastic guest today, Carlton defender Alex Chin Cotter. And he's got one of the great footy journeys to tell. You're really going to love this one. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Richo. Now, I love what you've brought in here, mate. One of my favourites. Got some lamb cutlets there. Yeah, got the Mediterranean dish here. We've got the lamb cutlets, got a bit of greens in there. Got some um, figs there as well. Yeah, got some figs in there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks good, mate. Yeah. Good Italian Mediterranean dish. That'll go well with the Shiraz Cabernet down there from Pepper Jack. Now, mate, before we start, mm. as a commentator, the last thing you want to do is get a name wrong. And I've, I've always been worried about saying <laughs> your name wrong. It's yep. Chin Cotter, right? It is, yes. Yes, Chin Cotter. So yep. I've said that right. You have, yes. Yeah, mate, you got it right. It's a great footy journey that you've got to tell. Tell us uh, where you started your journey. Yeah, so I uh, started my journey obviously um, at John College. So I played um, APS um, footy there, um, and then from there, um, we just went straight into like local football. So I played. So you didn't play at the Falcons? No, no, I didn't play at the Falcons. So I didn't play any NAB league or anything like that. Um, and then just played local football, just with my mates. Um, so obviously, yeah, John's a small town. Yeah. So um, a lot of the boys I went to school with played there. Um, and then from there, um, got invited to, yeah, Geelong VFL. Um, had a trial there, had a pre-season there, and then um, yeah, got got put on the list, and yeah. Um, and yeah, it sort of kicked off from there. So um, yeah, I then. So did you go? Did you nominate for any drafts back through those years? How many years at local level? Uh, so I played local from 18 to about 2021. So yeah. it was a couple of years, um, and then I had a really good. I felt like I had a really good year um, when I was about 2021. 20, yeah. Um, I, then I started to play some rep football. Yeah. So I played just a local rep um, football for the JFL, um, and then played Vic Country. Yeah. So my Vic Country um, coach was um, Danny Frawley, so I got to know Spud quite well. And then didn't get picked up that year, unfortunately. Um, and then COVID hit. Um, so at the start of 2020, and then unfortunately I uh, I did my knee. So I did my ACL. So shocking timing there. You do your knee and, and we're going through COVID. How hard was that? Yeah, it was, it was challenging. So the whole world, as you remember, shut down. Yeah. So cafes, gyms, yeah. uh, restaurants. Speaking to my local president, um, he had a contact down there in Geelong and um, yeah, he said that I could use the gym um, yeah, to do my rehab and yeah. do my strength and um, do all the things I needed to do for that. Um, so yeah, it got to about a couple of weeks after surgery, um, and he just said, "Hey, mate, like, do you want to move in? Um, the whole like gyms are going to shut. Wow. You're not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to do any of your rehab. You're going to be stuck at home. You you don't have a weight at home, really. Like, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I moved in. We uh, chucked a bed into the physio room, and and then yeah, and then rehab started and. Yeah. That was a full-time rehab. It so was full-time rehab. Probably so helped you get your knee right pretty quickly, right? Well, yeah, like it just helped me kickstart it. I was doing probably two to three sessions a day. Um, I'd open open the door and the whole gym, <laughs> the whole gym would be there, and it was great. Like no one, obviously no one could come in, um, yeah. so it was fully shut down. So yeah, I hadn't played a single VFL game yet. I had a really good year at local level, and I played really well. Um, you know, in my rep games and um, Spud gave me a role in the Vic Country game and I shut down a, a small forward named Josh Green. If yeah. People, yeah, remember Josh. And, played at um, Essendon. Yeah, he played yeah. at Essendon. And, and I just remember Spud at the time saying, if you if you want to play for football, you're going to have to shut down some really good players. And um, yeah, I felt, I felt just off that, that I... Uh, so that one game gave you a lot of confidence. Gave me a lot of yeah. confidence, yeah. I think... Yeah, for the first time, I had someone that probably really backed me. Yeah, and um, yeah, just backed my ability and backed me as a player. And yeah, Spud just said, "No, hey mate, I, I think you can play AFL." So, That's fantastic. And someone yeah. like Danny Frawley to say that it would give you a lot of confidence. So then you got invited 
at the end of the year, Geelong Carlton invited you down to their VFL program. Yeah. Is that 2021? Yeah, yeah. so at the start of 2021. You've made a real leap in your career here, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think, again, that was another turning point for me, um, playing against, um, obviously, VFL and AFL players um, through the VFL. Um, yeah, I gained a lot of confidence from that. Yeah. So, long ball, inside forward, 50 Chinkotta. Well done. Ooh, that's a big tackle. So now, you're still not on a list, though. You're on a VFL list. Yep. How do you end up on Carlton's AFL list, the senior list? An opportunity came, um, unfortunately, when Zach went down with his knee. Yeah, Zach um, Williams. Yeah, so um, I obviously didn't get picked up in the draft as well again that year. So, yeah, I just got a call from, from Nick Austin and and said, hey, mate, like, there's a, there could be an opportunity to, to train. And, yeah. Because they wanted to replace Zach Williams with another running defender? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So myself, uh, Oleg Markov and Hudson O'Keefe, all three got invited down. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the, I think there was a two-week deadline. I have missed out on, yeah, six drafts or yeah. seven drafts. And, um, yeah, I just had that belief. And, and finally, yeah, a little bit of luck came my way. And, and yeah, I haven't looked back, really. So, yeah, it's been amazing. You come into the football club in a lot of different ways. Um, obviously, the traditional way I reckon is to you know come in as draft and um, you know to be able to go back and sort of work on your on your game and um, you know go really work on yourself. It's a it's a difficult road in, dudes. You know, it's a bit of a journey. You come in and gone out and then come back in and um, and this is where you get your first opportunity, mate. So um, please let you know that uh, you're on you're on the list, mate. So. <laughs> I'm blown away. Um, I've been working at this for a long time now and I think the only thing that I just want to say is that for boys, I'm going to give 110% and I'm going to work my ass off every single day and like I know what we want to achieve as a footy club and but I'm in and I'm ready to go. So going into the round six game the next year, last year, yep. uh, Vossi calls you, you're in, you're playing your first game, what a moment. Yeah, I just also want to thank my teammates and coaches and everyone who's believed in me past five or six years it's uh <coughs> it's been amazing so thank you you come into the team and it was a little probably a little bit rough early there was a lot of speculation about the blues and then you have that great win on the sunday yeah the mcg against the gold coast suns yeah pretty much from that moment on everything turned around at the club is there yeah. Was that, that was the moment. At quarter time that day, you were down, and then you went nuts in the second quarter. I remember. You didn't look back. Can you yeah. tell us about that? Yeah, I remember. Um, we played good football in that first quarter, but our connection just wasn't quite there. Um, and then I felt like from that first quarter, we just started playing ruthless team football. Yeah. We haven't really looked back. You know, we won. I think we won 18. Yeah. 18 games or something yeah, yeah since so then. since then so yeah amazing feeling like obviously that was I think that was my second win to be a part of and um and then from there it's yeah it's yeah it's clicked yeah, it's clicked so yeah. to the blues do you think you can go that next step I mean you've been to a prelim final you've had experience now you win close games yeah you think you can go that next level I think so yeah, yeah I think so I think as a club and as a team we're always going to be aiming for that yeah, um, so it's an, it's an exciting time. I feel like we've had a really strong pre-season. Um, you know, we've gone to work on each other's games and, and gone to work on our system and, and changed things. And we feel like we're in a really, really strong position to be able to, to, be able to do that. And, and it's a really exciting time and um, for us as players, but also the supporters, you know, um, supporters have been through a little, they've been through a bit, um, so yeah. Um, I definitely think we can. So if we keep bringing our A game and keep getting after what we believe in, I think we can do it, definitely. Well, Alex, coming up, you've got the, uh, the big game against Collingwood, the arch rival. There's going to be a huge, huge crowd there. You must look forward to these games. Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, yeah, my first year, um, yeah, pretty amazing experience to, to play in front of, you know, 90,000 and obviously two big clubs come together on a Friday night or a Saturday night and um, yeah it's a, it's a it's a great experience and, a, and it's an a great it's a great game to be a part of and Vossi speaks about it all the time yeah. about how how special it is to to play um, in front of in front of those big crowds and to never ever take it for granted because 
yeah, they are special. Yeah. Um, and I think we, I think both clubs, regardless of where they're sitting on the ladder, always will always bring their A game, and yeah, definitely an amazing experience. So, mate, one of the good things about playing footy is the mates that you make, and I believe you best mates with Mitch McGovern. Yes, yes, very close with Gov. Um, I'm over at his house quite a bit. Um, so yeah, he has me over for dinner and yeah, we talk, we talk football, we talk life. Yeah. Um, What's he cook up? Gov. Uh, sometimes I, I'm the one that's actually cooking. I'm backing the Italian in. Yeah, you're backing the Italian in. Um, Gov doesn't really put too much with his spaghetti bolognese. So <laughs> I was like, Not mate, I was like, mate I, I've, got to, I've got to chip in here. Well, Alex, thanks so much for coming on today. I've got a little bottle of pepper jack there. You can take that over to Mitch's. Ah, uh, thank you. Next time, make sure you cook, though, not Mitch. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, Mitch. Uh, beautiful. Sure. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Good mate. luck for the rest of the year. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. That's it again for another edition of Knockoffs. We'll see you again soon.